hey guys welcome back to my channel and today if you're looking for a nice quick simple easy and delicious tuna potatoes pasta salad then this is the one for you so let's go right ahead and make it now these are the ingredients that i'm going to be using you can check the description box below i will have all details there all measurements all right everything going to be there so what i'm going to do I'm going to wash and peel my potatoes and dice them. At this time, I have a pot with water boiling. And the pasta that I'm using is like just two cups of pasta, all right? So into my pot with water, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. And then I'm going to add my pasta. I use the elbow macaroni because... To me, like I prefer making it with this. You can also substitute with any other type of pasta. And you want to boil your eggs and potato separately, right? So I'm going to do the pasta first and then I'm going to do the potato. And once it's done, I strain it, pour some cold water over. And once it's fully drained, I'm going to add it into my mixing bowl. Once I add this here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my potato also. And this is just my way of making my pasta, all right? Now, I'm going to add my chopped onion, parsley, and flavored pepper. And I love to see colors, guys. Not only is it beautiful with color, once you have the rice ingredients, you got a beautiful, a tasty salad. Some Italian mixed herb right up into there. Pour that goodness there, guys. And you can use this salad, let me tell you, at a barbecue. You can use it at a picnic. Here, I did strain out the oil from my smoked tuna. And you can also use the tuna in water. I'm going to add some red pepper flakes. And if you don't like anything too heaty, which in my pasta is not that heaty, I just put it for a little extra flavor. I'm now going to add some paprika into here. And at this time, I'm going to add my chopped eggs. So if you don't want eggs into yours, you can omit that also. Add a little bit of mustard, not too much. I just add like one tablespoon of mustard into here. And with the mayonnaise, I'm going to put a lot of mayonnaise. Some people do not like too much of mayonnaise, but I love mayonnaise, right? So I had a bigger spoon than my normal tablespoon. And I heaped my spoon, so I'm going to put three heaped full of spoon full of mayonnaise if that makes sense <laughs> yeah yeah so once i drop it in there i'm going to add a little bit of milk and this again is my way guys add the milk in there and then we're going to go right ahead and give it a nice little stir making sure that everything is well incorporated this is also great for a quick lunch or snack. Yeah, man. And I can eat this salad all day, trust me. Mix it well. All right, so at this time, I'm going to sprinkle or garnish my salad with some paprika. And then I'm going to add some more of the Italian herb. And then I'm going to take my spatula and just clean the sides of my dish. Cover with a cling wrap and place in the refrigerator for about two to three hours before I'm ready to use. So let's start with our chicken now. So I did wash my chicken with lime and salt and vinegar. And I pat dry it well. And this is some of my chunky green seasonings that I made earlier. In my season has a lot of onion, garlic, pepper, and here I'm adding some paprika along with some cayenne pepper because I want my chicken to be spicy, all right? I'm going to also go in and I'm going to add a little bit of salt. You don't want it too salty. 
add some salt into there then go ahead and add some complete seasoning once I add the complete seasoning I'm going to add my mustard I do not go without mustard guys even if I'm doing fish I just love a little bit of mustard because it tends to tenderize your meat mix it well then cover the bowl and let this sit for about an hour or two hours mind you my salad is in the refrigerator there sitting waiting for this chicken so into a bowl I'm going to add three eggs and then I'm going to add some milk and you want to flavor this all right so I'm gonna add some paprika into here I'm gonna also add some cayenne pepper and some complete seasoning because I'm looking to do a spicy chicken now whisk it in make sure that everything is combined well and the egg is all beaten set this aside now we're going to start with our flour for the chicken. Now it all depends on how much chicken you're frying. Then you can just add with your flour. Into my flour, I add complete seasoning. I'm adding some Cajun seasonings. I'm adding some salt and I add some paprika into here. Mix it well. And at this time my chicken is ready after two hours now you want to put it in the flour or you can also put it into the egg wash before you put it into the flour whichever way that's fine once it's done like this I'm gonna coat it again with flour and then my oil is on the stove just ready for this chicken make sure you pat that flour well onto the chicken take it out shake it out well and place it right into the pot now this chicken would take like eight minutes to cook so I cook them for like four minutes on each side place them into there and once they get brown you just flip them over like this and guys you're gonna hear my phone beeping I'm so sorry for that you may hear a vehicle passing yes forgive me I can't help it because I'm living very close to public transportation, all right? So once it's done, I'm going to remove them, place them onto a rock. And because the piece of chicken leaf back there is the bigger piece, I'm going to flip it over again and let it cook again for another minute before I remove it from the pan. And once I'm done, let me show you what my chicken looks like. Juicy, moist very flavorful yes guys and i did serve it with some beetroot rice some of my tuna potato pasta salad and there you have it so thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing and for those of you who are just watching also please press that subscribe button and thank you again i'll see you soon